think this is like such an opportunity and it's like been approaching for so long but I can't believe that it's actually here it's sort of just come totally out of the blue um, so I'm really looking forward to it but a bit nervous as well. The International Food and Nutrition Study Tour gives our students a truly worldly experience. For two weeks, we take our students to another country to experience food and nutrition in a completely different context. We visit leading universities and show them how the research actually informs government rules. We also visit the government, we visit farms, we visit schools. The International Study Tour is really a life-changing event for our students. Um, the thing that stuck out with me for this one was that they get zero dollars for marketing, basically. I thought that was really, really interesting. And the fact that she said that they market more peer-to-peer, -peer, so bloggers, for example, um, and that they're only sort of just starting to get into social media. My perspective on the food industry has changed as I learnt just how much hard work goes in behind a product before it's actually on the market. The thing that struck me most about this company was that they talked a lot about the ethics um, that were completely driving everything that the company does from the very beginning um, and the organics and the way that they're sourcing all the products. It was really cool to find um, it's not just really about the tea, it's about them being honest, locally sourced. Um. It was really interesting, it was amazing. We walked in there and they showed us around. First it started off as just a bit of background about NIH and what they do and their missions. And then um, they showed us a massive room with like everyone's pictures who had won a Nobel Prize. So we've just been to Manel and one of the things I found really fascinating was the work being done on the smear. I think. Anyway, looking at people who had lost their sense of smell and the work that they're doing with stem cells to try and find a way of, I guess, um, get, giving people back their sense of smell. And I didn't realise it was such a big thing that so many people did lose their sense of smell from many different reasons, some from birth, some through accident and some through old age. So I found that really fascinating. Philadelphia has been doing, kind of in comparison to Detroit and some of the other, we're really like rocket as like this urban this urban renewal around farming and greening and so um, that's one of the cool um, cool parts of you guys being here is to see part of this. Um, I love the food, tr food trust. I'd love to work for a company or a yeah. foundation like that. Um, just having that one-on-one -on -one contact with uh, sort of the community and, and doing that, that hands-on sort of work I think is really good and really interesting and something I'd love to do in the future. I love the whole study tour opportunity and meeting everyone with very similar interests. So it was a really good opportunity to meet people from abroad and hopefully get a job one day. Well I actually found out what career I wanted to do out of the study tour so I think that was the best thing that I've taken out of it. Um, it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to visit places that most people would not get the chance to visit. Um, and I also enjoyed seeing all the different American ways they like go about things, so like the cafeteria in the high schools and um, the high sodium, sugar and salt, fat diets, all that stuff like compared to Australia and how they're trying to minimise that. So many um, fantastic opportunities to see every aspect of nutrition in the US. Um, my brain is exploding with information, but uh, I'm really excited to go back home and put it all into practice. It's given me a lot to think about in terms of what I want to do in the future. Um, not too sure what that will be, but I'm really excited about it now. <laughs>